All right, all right, guys. So uh, good to see you all. If you can all stick yourself on mute, apart from me, Reese, and Tony. Um, so what we'll do is I'll, I'll introduce Tony. Um, really, really pleased that Tony's come on. Um, I think it's ten a.m. in U.S. time, so I think we should. Yes. <laughs> I think we should all appreciate uh, Tony <laughs> doing this. It is three o'clock UK time at the moment, so. Um, I think there's been a lot of children waiting for this, Tony. They're so excited to ask you a lot of questions. Um, so, guys, thank you so much. Uh, this is uh, Tony. Is it, I don't want to sound rude, Tony, but is it Rocha? Is that how you pronounce your last name? Yeah, it's Rocha. Good. Yeah. I, I, I went on YouTube earlier to see if you'd done anything, and thankfully they'd said your full name. <laughs> so I, I thought I would just yeah. double check. I didn't want to sound rude or anything by pronouncing it wrong. Um, yeah. So, so Tony plays for the New York City FC uh, in MLS. He has played for Orlando City as well. I'm pretty certain, I might be wrong, but I'm pretty certain he's played with players like Perlo, Lampard and Nani. I might be terribly wrong, but I'm pretty sure he, you have. So I left Orlando before Nani got there. Okay. And I got to... And I got to New York after Pirlo and Lampard left. Oh, but I played no. against. But I played. But I played against them. All okay. Them, so brilliant, brilliant. So, uh, like I said, Tony uh, plays in New York. Uh, he plays in MLS. Uh, he is obviously a professional footballer, and uh, he has kindly agreed to take any questions uh, that you guys have. Um, he's got the day off today, so um, he's really kindly said that he would take questions. Uh, Lucas, who you can see, he's got the New York City hat. So Lucas, hold it up. So his mum is from New York. Um, oh, so cool. He's actually a New York City FC fan. So I'm I'm glad Lucas has actually come on today, <laughs> so you can see that. Um, so uh, I will fire off with one question, and then what we'll do, guys, is if you've got a question for Tony, put your hands up, and then I will come to you, and then I mute yourself. So. Again, thank you so much, Tony, for this. Really appreciate this. Um, my first question, I'm going to fire away. And I'm going to be quite... Uh, I, I might just go straight into it. My first question, to, <laughs> my first question to you, Tony, is... Obviously, I've, I've had a research of your playing career, and it looks really good uh, in America and stuff. My first question is very simple. Would you ever like to play in Europe for a professional team? Oh, 100%. I think, um, well, especially because the U.S. is still a growing league, right? Or the MLS is still a growing league. So growing up watching football, the dream for every American, I think, at that point was to play oh. in European or play in Europe. Brilliant. And, and now, then, now you see um, all the young guys going, like your Christian Pulisic's, your yeah. Wes McKinney's. Yeah. Joe Scali, just from, the, from my team last year, is going to Borussia. So wow. seeing that is just, yeah, to be able to play in Europe is definitely still a dream. Is there any specific league, country, or just not, not, not too fast? What, what, where you go? Or um, if I could choose, it'd be the Bundesliga, Premier League, or La Liga. Nice. So, and yeah. also you've had uh, you guys have had Alfonso Davis go to Bayern Munich as well. And he's been oh my god, he's been amazing in Europe. He'd been unbelievable. Oh yeah, it, yeah. <laughs> it, it was crazy to see because I, I played USL against Vancouver Whitecaps too. Wow. And he was on that team, so, so I got to play against him. Wow. Um, and even as you, in USL, like to see his growth from that to play in the Champions League final wow. um, and to win the trophy is, is yeah, mind-blowing. Wow, fantastic. Okay, guys, we've got the privilege of Tony for about 30 minutes before Zoom wants to kick us out. So if you've got a question for Tony, stick your hands up. Uh, let's go to Lucas first then, being a New York fan. Go on, Lucas. What's your favourite drill to do? Oh, <laughs> favorite drill is probably Rondo. Okay, nice. Bo so, boxes, yeah. Nice. We normally do that before training starts, kind of as a warm-up, but it's fun, kind of gets you uh, warmed up, activated, and it's fun to keep guys in the middle. Oh, wow. That's good. Good good question, Lucas. Do you know what a Rondo is, Lucas? Do you know what a Rondo drill? Yeah, so it's like a quick passing drill. Uh, let's go with Finley Grealish. You're not related to Jack Grealish, are you? No, he's so he's a massive <laughs> he's a massive diehard Aston Villa fan. <laughs> oh, okay. He's a diehard Aston Villa fan. Got him, Grealish. 
What's the best stadium you've played in? That's a good oh, one. Great question. I was, yeah. was going to ask that. That's really good. Awesome. I would say Atlanta United Stadium. Um, oh, it's a brand nice. new stadium that they, they built, they shared with the American football team. And nice. it was packed, 70,000 fans, loud, couldn't hear anything. It was probably one of the best experiences. Wow. That, I've had a look at um, the Atlanta Stadium. It is unbelievable. Like, obviously, yeah. I've, not, I've not been there, but it looks unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> Good question, uh, Grealish. Anyone else? Uh, uh, Reese, go on, Reese. Do you have any superstitions for like a match day, like or anything? Do you like? Are you one of the big, like loud ones in the change room, or are you one of them that just like sit there, like prepare yourself mentally for the game ahead? Good yeah. So, so to be honest, I try not to focus too much on the game until it's right before game time. So like before the game, um, I kind of just go on a walk, do whatever, get my mind off of the game, and then whenever I'm in the locker room, that's when I kind of like focus and. Nice. Kind of to myself and just listen to music and stuff. So nice. that's kind of my superstition, if you will. Oh, nice. Good one. Nice one, Reese. Uh, let's go. Uh, you and Joshua. What is it like playing against top players like Pirlo, Lampard and Nani? <laughs> it's um, first a dream come true, like growing up, watching them play and then be able to share the field with them is an incredible experience. But just watching them. Mm. Um, and their positioning and their technique and everything is um, something that I try to learn from. So it's an awesome experience to be able to play against players like that wow. at the top, top level. Have you, uh, have you swapped shirts with any of them or anything like that? Or No, all, all the uh, other guys get to them before I can. So. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Great question, though. You're in the Joshua. Uh, Jack? What position do you play? I play... Uh, number six, and then also a left back. So number oh. six is a holding midfielder, and then sometimes box to box as a number eight as well. Oh, nice! But I'm left footed, left footed. So anywhere on the left side, really, I can. Are you are play. you left are you left footed? Is that is that why? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, left footed. Nice, nice. Uh, uh, Millie and Blake. What team do you support in England? <laughs> I was I was thinking that Blake. I was thinking of possibly asking that. So um, I'm an Arsenal supporter. Oh no! So it, it's it's been tough the oh. past couple of years, but okay. I'm being <laughs> optimistic about it. I'm being optimistic about the future. Ouch! So Blake, who's just asked you a question, he's actually a Spurs fan. Oh okay. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> what's your what's uh, what's your view on um, Ozil? Are you happy or sad or? I mean, I'm obviously sad because he was a great player mm. um, and he has so much quality. But I think there's some point in time when maybe the club and the players don't align views or whatever. So at yeah. that point, I think it was good that they yeah. uh, got a deal for him. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, uh, Greenish, going in, back to you. What's your favourite pre-match meal? Oh, that's good. Good question. I would say it would probably be um, sweet potatoes, oh, nice vegetables, and um, I think that's it. Maybe just sweet potatoes, and vegetables. Try to get as many carbs as they can before. Nice, the game. Nice. Good question, Greenish. Uh, Lucas, who's your favorite player and who's your favorite team? So my favorite player, I guess, of all time would probably be Andres Iniesta, play for Barcelona. Nice. nice. Um, Currently, I would say, oh, that's a tough one. Um, <laughs> probably Tony Kroos with Madrid. Oh, okay. he plays in the middle field. Nice. And then, um, what was your other question? Uh, okay, favorite team is Barcelona. Barcelona. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Good, good question there, Lucas. Uh, Reese. Was there anyone that you looked up to when you were younger? Like, so when you were younger as a player, do you look up at, like, the younger, like, Iniesta's or, or people like that, Pirlo's, et cetera? Yeah, definitely Pirlo with his – the way he can place the ball anywhere he wanted. Um, he's my f favorite player – or one of my favorite players to watch, but I think on the ball and just field vision and the way he moves was Andres Iniesta. Him and Xavi and Messi, what nice. they did at Barcelona was, was amazing. Nice. I've got a question. So, um, one of our coaches can't be on the Zoom, but he asks – I think 
it's this question. I might be completely wrong, but he asks, what was it like growing up in like high school and, and college where um, obviously soccer, football here, isn't the number one sport over there? Were you tempted to maybe do like um, baseball or basketball or American football or anything else? Or was it just soccer? It, um, I just played soccer growing up, but I know there was multiple times where a lot of my friends were playing baseball or they're playing basketball and I maybe wanted to sign up or nice. to play baseball and stuff. But um, yeah, with, with soccer being not as popular back then as it is now, like there was a lot of, I guess, opportunities for me to play other sports. Would you, would you say that in the last 10 years that um, soccer has just gone boom in the US? Um, and if so, oh, why? Yeah. And if, if so, why? Um, I think it has. And A, I think the MLS has done a good job of marketing itself. Mm. Um, not just in the US, but uh, in the world. Because I know recently we've been attracting young talent from multiple other countries yeah. and stuff. And so I think that's been yeah. a positive. Um, and then I also think the success of both the women's and the men's World Cup. Yeah. Or like the national teams has helped with that. Yeah. Uh, let's go with Jack. Um, um, who's your Who's your favourite centre forward? <laughs> That's a random one. I would say uh, Robert Lewandowski with Bayern Ooh, Munich. Nice. Yeah, uh, he is solid every time I watch him. Play. Yeah, yes, he's, uh, yes. Uh, uh, Ewan and Joshua? Who's your favourite left back? <laughs> uh, Marcelo. Probably oh, from Real Madrid. wow, okay. Yeah. Uh, Blake? What's the toughest team in America MLS League? Um, toughest team I've probably played against would probably be Toronto. Yeah, they're... Toronto FC. I, yeah, they're... I don't know why, but we, we always struggle against them. Um, and they're always hard to play against. Uh, let's go uh, la, 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 uh, Greenish. Um, who is the funniest in your team? <laughs> uh, that's a good question. Um, I would probably say Sean Johnson, our keeper. Nice. He's, he's very, a very sarcastic person. Um, and I, I like that kind of humor, so I find it funny. I've, so we get MLS over here now, sometimes on Sky Sports or uh, another channel. And what I've seen when New York play is he is a really good keeper, what I've seen anyway. Yeah. He is. Yeah. Hit him and um, uh, I can't remember the DC United keeper. Is it Hamid? Hit those oh, two. yeah, Bill Hamid. Yes. Yeah. I think those two are really, I mean, I think those two should be in Europe, just as a personal yeah. opinion. <laughs> yeah. I, I, no, I agree. Uh, yeah. Uh, Lucas? Um, I went to see New York play the Red Bulls. New York won 2-1. What was it like to be in the stadium? Oh, uh, oh, it was amazing. Like just because, yeah, just uh, it being a local derby. Um, and so both teams are kind of going to the game very high on emotion and be able to, to score the way that we did late in the game um, at home. Uh, it, was, it was great being in that stadium. <laughs> But those are those are the I guess moments as a professional player you want to be a part of and yeah in stadiums like that. Do you miss uh, the crowd? It's a silly question, but do you miss the crowd so far? Yeah, ab absolutely. Like we had, I think the first game we had fans was back in Orlando when we played in the playoff game. Mm. And I think they were still only at like twenty five percent capacity, but still, it felt like an actual like professional game because of fans in the stands. So. Yeah. I really hope this year that we're able to get fans back in the stadiums. It makes a big difference. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, at the moment, we've got zero fans allowed in um, just because of the situation. So let's, yeah. <laughs> let's, let's hope it gets better soon. Um, Ian? Um, in your history, how many goals have you scored? I scored my first professional or first MLS goal last season. Who was it against? So, not much of a goal scorer. It was against uh, Montreal. Okay. Impact. So. Nice. That's Thierry Henry's though, team, isn't it? Am yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, you go. Oh, there you go. You see? But not bad. <laughs> not bad at all. Uh, uh, let's go. Before I go to you, Million Blake, I'm, 
I don't know if you've played with him. I don't know if it's if he left before you were there. But were you uh, at New York when Jack Harrison was there? Because obviously he's at Leeds. No, I, I wasn't here. Yeah, I wasn't oh, okay. here yet. Oh, I just didn't know if you were there at the same time. Uh, uh, Millie and Blake? How hard do we have to work to become a professional football player? How hard? Yeah. Um, I think very hard. And then that's, um, I guess to go into a little bit more detail, it's just sacrificing maybe things that other people are doing your age that is probably not going to get you to where you want to go. So whether that's nutrition, sleep, uh, going on vacation, whatever it may be, but just, just taking the additional time to work on being a professional athlete. That was going to lead up to one of my questions, which was what advice would you give younger children or children to um, try as hard as they can to become a professional footballer? The advice I would take is don't compare yourself to other players on your team. Like we all develop differently. So just continue to work hard daily um, and do the best that you can, and eventually you'll you'll get your opportunity and your chance. Oh, that's good. That's really good. Great advice. Uh, let's go, Jack. What's your favourite skill? <laughs> favourite skill would probably be um, a step over, a double step over. Nice. I'm rarely doing it in a game, but uh, I do it more in training, but it's probably my favourite. <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah. Reese. Please. What would you say your strong points and your weak points are for when it comes to defending? So like, is it like aerial drills or is it like starting up jockey and sending them one way, etc.? Yeah, I think um, I'll start with weakness. I'm not fast or quick. So whenever I have a fast attacker, a quick attacker, um, I guess just getting in the right position so I can kind of reduce that speed difference. But that's probably my weakness. My strength would probably be aerial duels, one on one tackling, mm. uh, more in tight spaces and stuff. So nice. Uh, you and a Joshua. Who's your favorite manager? Oh, <laughs> Pep, Pep Guardiola. Pep, nice. Pep Guardiola. I yeah. shouldn't. I shouldn't really celebrate that because I'm a Man United fan. But <laughs> there you go. <laughs> um, who's your, Who's your? I mean, I don't know if you answer this, but um, who's your favorite? manager you've ever played with who you've worked with is there a favorite or or, or not um yeah I'd probably say Dome I know he was Pep's assistant for the longest time nice um and so kind of whenever he was here in New York just I guess picking his brain on how nice. he sees tactics and all that stuff yeah did he tell you some like good stories about City or Pep or anything like that or um no not really I mean he just I guess took whatever he learned at those big clubs and saying, okay, nice. this is what we did against Bayern Munich. This is what, and kind of just um, bringing that to him a lot. So oh, oh, pretty cool to see. Wow. That's amazing. Uh, uh, yeah. Let's go. Lucas. What's your favorite restaurant to eat at? <laughs> <laughs> um, this is probably well, his question. I have a... This is probably his mum asking who's American. <laughs> Um, favorite restaurant. Um, I would probably say, um, I guess before, cause I, I've been vegan for the past year, but before I was vegan was Fogo de Chao. Okay. I was in steakhouse here in, in the city. Nice. Do you live yeah. in New York city or, or do you live just outside or? Yeah, I just, I just moved to New York city to Manhattan like a couple oh. weeks ago. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Uh, Jack. Um, um, what's your type, um, favorite type of playing style, like attack, like high press or, um, so or like, or so like high press or like dropping in or yeah. stuff like that, Jack? Fair yeah. enough. <laughs> yeah, I like, I like high press, high press, win the ball back as soon as you lose it, win it higher up the field, you're closer to that goal. Nice, kind nice, of, yeah, good. Anyone else got a question before I ask another one? Uh, uh, sorry, go on, Lucas. Sorry, I didn't see you there. What was your favourite subject growing up in school? Oh, it was math. Wow. Mathematics. Yeah. 
I was really good at math growing up. There you go. Make sure you do your maths, guys. Make sure you study. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my question was, um, my next question is, um, might be a bit um, simple, but what is the target for you guys for this season? Is it playoffs? Is it to win MLS? Is it, um, I, I don't know, what's the target? What's the team target? Yeah, I think it's to win MLS. I think as uh, New York, our, I guess, goal is, or our ambition is higher than making playoffs. Like, I think that's expected mm. year in and year out. Um, so just winning MLS Cup. And then the local, the Open Cup is the, I guess, the FA Cup of the U.S. Mm. So just winning winning that domestic trophy as well. And what's your individual uh, target for the season? Do you have any individual targets? Do you set anything or not? Yeah, um, so this year would be to play or to at least start 50% of the games this year. Oh, nice. So, nice. So, yeah, hope, that's my goal for this year. So, hopefully, then we'll be watching you more on, uh, on TV then. Yes, starting. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah. If you do start more, can you do two step overs in a game? Just, <laughs> <laughs> just so we can see it, just to say that we can see we've had an influence. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, Blake, where are you in the MS uh, League? What do you mean, where am I? Like, so what Bla city? So, Blake, they haven't started their season yet, Blake. So, it's like their pre season at the moment, Blake. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Good question, though. Good question, but they haven't started. Uh, Lucas, do you have any pets? I do have a golden retriever dog oh, named Arlo. Nice. Yeah. Hands up if you've got a dog, guys. I've got two pugs. Nice. Anyone else got a question? Guys, next question. Reese, have you got one? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll think of one, yeah. Uh, so... Oh, straight in my head. So, I've got one. Um, mm. You obviously... Oh. I'm pretty certain that, that you were born in Texas, I think. Mm -hmm. But you don't play for the US national team. Am I right? No. Yeah. Um, who has been your toughest opponent uh, for the national team? Uh, I mean, who, who's been the best team you've played against internationally? Yeah. We played against French Guiana um, for the Gold Cup qualifiers. And that was probably the toughest game that we played against. I know this year we're scheduled to play against Haiti and they made it to the quarterfinals of the Gold Cup. So wow. that'll probably be the hardest international team. That, yeah. What's the target for you guys internationally? Is that to qualify for the Gold Cup? Yeah, the Gold Cup first, and then obviously the World Cup. Like I think that's everyone's nice. international dream is to at least make the World Cup. Especially because uh, the US, Canada, and Mexico are hosting it. Yeah. Years, aren't they? So yeah, that would be amazing. That would be absolutely amazing. Yeah. You... Uh, oh, hello, Raf. Go on, in, Raf. If you've got a question. What's your biggest win? Biggest win? Biggest win um, would probably be, I guess, the game going into the playoffs. Uh, last year, we were – if we won, we would have won the Eastern Conference. Mm. Um, and then so we won that game, and we ended up winning with Eastern Conference, which made – we qualified for the CONCACAF Champions League and um, set it up – set us up for a good season this year. Nice. Uh, Greenish? How many dollars did you cost to sign? <laughs> Greenish. <laughs> so it, it's. I mean, I'll, I'll say this: it, it was um, it was a trade, so I think it was just a, a draft pick, um, mm. which is different than I, I know any other country, but just a draft pick that that was traded for me. Yeah. So so Greenish, it was it was like a a trade, two players traded. Yeah. yeah. Uh, good question though, uh, Lucas. If I come to New York, can you sign my hat? <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, there you go, Lucas. Thanks. There you go. <laughs> uh, Ewan, I think you had a question. We've got about 10 minutes, guys, so we'll start wrapping it up in about six minutes so we don't get booted off. Uh, Ewan? Who do you think is better, Ronaldo or Messi? Oh! I think Messi. <laughs> I like Messi better than Ronaldo. Any but that doesn't take anything away from Ronaldo, but I think he's worked extremely hard for what he has. Fair enough. Good, good, uh, good answer. Uh, anyone else? Uh, Jack? 
When did you make your professional debut and what was the score? Oh, good question. It was, I think I was 21 uh, when I made my professional debut and we were losing 1-0, I believe, to Chicago. I know it was against Chicago, but I can't really remember the score. Was, uh, what's it like, uh, New York, compared to Orlando? Do you, do you miss Orlando? Do you miss the team? Or, or, um, or, are, you, no, or, are, or are you quite settled well, and happy? Yeah, I'm quite settled and happy in New York. Orlando was a tough situation it was an expansion club and Mm. I guess um they had a lot of stuff going on so it was hard uh to be in Orlando and when I got to New York it was like a different change of pace and I like New York a lot better than Orlando fair enough uh Ewan Rangers or Celtic (laughs) Rangers or Celtic (laughs) I I would say Rangers just because Steven Gerrard's the uh manager there Oh, good answer. Ewan's a Rangers fan. Great answer. <laughs> uh, Reese, you had a question? It was it was a difficult player for you to come up against. Who was the most difficult? I would say Jovinko when he played at Toronto. Oh, good. He player. was so so craft yeah, so crafty and quick and movement was great. How did you stop him? Did you give him a few niggly fouls? Did you kick him every so often? Did you pull his shirt or did you just stay tight to him? Um, no, I definitely gave him a little <laughs> push in the back sometimes. Um, yeah, because I, I think at that, like, you see with Messi, I know I'm not comparing Messi to Jimmy Go, but mm. the only way to stop him is just to be physical with them. And yeah, so fair enough. That's what I tried to do with him. Good. Uh, Blake? How many hours do you train in a day? Good question. So I would go into the facility at 9.30. And I would leave around one or two o'clock. No. So. Oh God, Grealish, he's put he's put Tony up on the back gun. I like it. <laughs> yeah, I see that. <laughs> I like it. I think you've got a new fan. Are you gonna <laughs> Grealish? Are you gonna buy a New York City shirt with Tony's name on the back? There you go. You've got a new fan. <laughs> <laughs> you've got you've got fans from the UK now. There you go. Uh, yeah. Reece? Reece? Whilst we're, all, we're on the question of uh, what you do, like throughout the day do you do anything like extras at home so like any extra like workout sort of bits or extra training bits or is it just playing up recovery in the day um yeah so I know a lot of people like no days off growing up and stuff like that but I think it's important to have that recovery Mm -hmm. um for your body so during my off days I'd maybe like go on a walk or something but nothing too hectic um or maybe like go stretch or stretch or something like that but nothing too physical because I know I'm just preparing my body for yeah. the hard training sessions that we have during the week. Good answer. Anyone else got a question? We've got a couple of more minutes, guys. Uh, Blake? What do you think about David Beckham's club? <laughs> what do you think about David Beckham's into Miami? Oh, I know last year they struggled big time. Um, mm. But this year they completely changed the roster and they brought in Phil Neville as a coach, so yeah. I think they're going in the right direction um, yeah. this year. So it'll be fun to play against them because I know they signed the Tweedy and Iguain last year. So yeah, it was fun playing against those guys. Do you, um, when is, when does your season start and who have you guys got first? If you know. So they, they just announced uh, the season starting April 3rd. Okay. Um, but they, they, they haven't set out the schedule yet. So I don't know who our first opponent is. My last question, guys, before I move on to your last questions, is who is your? I mean, if you if you do or if you can, but who's your favorite MLS opponent you like playing against? It'll be it the stadium, the city, or the team, or or what? Um, it would be LA that I like playing against LAFC. Mm. Um, just the stadium that they have is probably one of the best in MLS, and just being on the ocean. Wow. Uh, on an away trip is, is always nice. Yeah, so that's probably my favourite Oh, good. team Gre- to play against. Grealish, we'll go to you in a sec. Oh, sorry, I've got to ask this last question from me. <laughs> do, do you ever play yourself as FIFA on FIFA? Do you ever stick yourself up front and bang bang the goals in? <laughs> <laughs> no, had, I've never had, done that. I had to ask it. I had to ask. Grealish, you've got about two minutes, guys. We're going to have to make them quick. Um, what team were you playing in this background? 
Oh, that looks like uh, New England. Oh, there New you go. England Revolution. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Uh, Ian, have you got a question? Have you ever got a yellow card? <laughs> oh, all the time. <laughs> all the time. I think it's a lot of it has been tactical fouls. Nice. So like if I lose the ball in the middle field and I go the other way, like I grab that shirt or, or foul them to nice. stop the counterattack. Nice. Uh, Jack, last question for you, Jack. It's got to be quick. Did you get, did you get tired in the, in the, at the end of the 90 minutes or did you just keep Athens <laughs> going? <laughs> um, yeah, I get tired. Absolutely. I think I get tired somewhere around like the 75th, 80 minute, 80th minute. So the last 10 minutes are really trying to be tactical and knowing when to go forward and knowing when to stay and just nice. being smart about it. So having a good football brain. Not, yeah. just, not just about the fitness. Uh, Lucas? Yeah. What would your manager say to you if you were losing at half time? <laughs> he would probably try to figure out what we were doing wrong and then maybe change something tactically or, um, yeah, I think I said just change something tactically that we're probably doing wrong or kind of nice. just give us a motivating talk. Nice. Uh, Ralph, your last question. You have to be quick, Ralph. Go on, then, Ruff. We can hear you, Ruff. Ruff. <laughs> Ruff, Ruff t- talk, dude. There you go. Go on, then. What's your rating on FIFA? <laughs> oh, um, I honestly don't know. I haven't looked to see what my rating is. There you go, Ruff. That's your homework. So, Greedish. Yeah. Uh, last question, Greedish. You have to be quick. Um, what is... You have to be oh. quick. Um, I forgot. Don't worry, don't worry. My last question, so the last question is, if you were to compare yourself to a Premier League player, who would you compare yourself to? Ooh. Um, I'm trying to think. So, sticking, sticking with Arsenal, I'd probably say Granite. Jacko. Okay, okay, fair enough. What with the niggly yeah. fouls and the like the tracking back and stuff like that. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Good. All right, guys, we haven't got time now uh, to take any more because I don't want Zoom to kick us off. Can we all unmute ourselves and give Tony a, a big round of applause, guys? Because that's really nice. That's really nice. Come on. Come on. Give him a big clap, guys. Thank you so much, Tony, for this. I really appreciate it. Um, it's been absolutely amazing having you on. Um, I think you've probably got a lot of New York City fans now. Um, and I'm more than certain that they're all going to be keeping an eye on how you get on this season. Um, yeah. Again, thank you so much for this. I can imagine you're really busy. So we really appreciate your time. Um, I, we wish you all good luck for the MLS season. I hope you win it. We'll be definitely really pleased for you if you win it. And uh, yeah, yeah, stay safe during this uh, tough time. And thank you so much again. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Thanks again for having me on. And thank you everyone for all the great questions. And um, (laughs) I appreciate the support. Brilliant. Thank you so much.